Hey everyone, it's Deli here. How are you guys doing? I hope you're having a lovely, lovely week and uh, had a nice Easter if you're watching this right after Easter or during Easter. Uh, today I thought I would do a let's build for a change because I saw James do a let's build and I was kind of like, I want to do that too. Like I want to build in real time for a change. So today we are going to be building a, we're going to start building an 80,000 Somalian home. So $80,000 home. Uh, the reason why is because I want to move my current off-screen family into here. So if you've been watching the videos about my current off-screen family, you'll know what I'm talking about. But you know what? 80,000 might sound like a lot in The Sims 4. Like you might think, oh, that's heaps. But really? With furnishing and everything, it, it doesn't go like super far. So kind of what I'm visualizing for this is I want to have like a really beautiful open plan home modern oh my gosh my voice just broke i'm like a teenage boy right now <laughs> just like a beautiful modern home i want it to be kind of low to the ground wait do we want that low no probably about that low uh and maybe with a second story and yeah, we're just gonna see how we go. I'm looking at several different images on Google right now and I'm kind of just getting a little bit of inspiration from them, you know, just to get the general look and feel. I kind of feel like, do we want this to match up with that or do we want it to kind of come in a little bit? Hmm, I feel like this should be a little bit longer as well. Just a little bit. Ooh, ah, uh, just a little bit. Ooh, ah, uh, a little bit far. Do you guys know that song? That used to be one of my favorite songs back in the day. Uh, well, this looks weird. It looks like it has like a butt sticking out and overhanging like a muffin top and really tight jeans, which I'm not gonna lie, that's relatable. Um, you know, let's just, let's kind of go from the front first. Sometimes I feel like it's easiest to work from the front and then we'll, we'll work our way to the back. So I'm thinking the front door goes here. Maybe we should extend a balcony over to here. Not the whole way. Maybe it can go to about there. We're gonna get like a pillar in. Uh, we wanna keep the cost somewhat down. So maybe we'll go for like this one from Dine Out. Mm, do we wanna go? I mean, we can change the color later, but I'm just gonna go with this. A columns even that expensive? How much are they? 45 small ones. 40, I mean, 45 is pretty you know, pretty doable, not mad about it. You know what, if we were going to put the column over here, then we might be able to line up the front door a little bit more nicely. So that's what I'm gonna do, column, column. Also, I didn't put a face cam on this because I felt like if I was watching a build, I'd rather not see a face in the way. It'll probably be just like my concentrated face with my tongue sticking out half the time. Does anyone else do that where when they're concentrating, they just have tongue sticking out face. I know my sister does it, but other than us two, I don't actually know anyone else who does it. Oh, I kind of want to use this door. This door's really nice, but I mean, we can still use it. We just need to, we just need to move these pillars over a wee little bit. There we go. That's cute. And you know what? We could actually separate this balcony. We could go like this and be a little bit sneaky like that get rid of that and we'll make it a little bit more streamlined and then we can kind of give the illusion of i guess a box on top of here so we can go like this oh oh i'm not sure i'm liking Ugh. i think we need to move this across and actually move the pillar across to be honest i don't know there's just too much of a gap it didn't really look balanced in my opinion in my humble opinion yeah, we'll just put it over here. Pillar goes there. Uh, okay. And then we can start making this into the little box I was talking about. So you guys can kind of see what I have in mind and see the idea come to fruitation. I have wanted to use the word fruitation for quite some time. So I'm very excited to be able to use it finally. Okay, cool. See the box? Do you see the box? Love that box. Yeah, I'm gonna pull this in a little bit because I am a little bit worried about how much we have to furnish and how much it's uh, it's gonna cost us. And then to finish off the box, we're gonna put this here. 
It kind of looks like if they went out onto this balcony, you could like fall down and you know, bye bye. Um, sir, <laughs> maybe this can be like a plantation balcony. I mean, the box makes more sense if it kind of sits like that. That looks a little bit, a little bit more nicer and balanced. It's all about balance, you know, in aesthetics when it comes to aesthetics. And I was thinking with the balcony, we would use half like this. Okay, that, that is a lot more than half. We wanna go like here. I know I just put a fence down here, by the way. Um, or, see, I actually got this idea off James in Sims 3. Um, Cause I used to watch his builds and he used to do this trick all the time, right? He, he'd use like a half wall and then put glass for the rest of it. And I was like, wow, that looks really good. So basically, we're using James's ideas. We're copying his Let's Build series. I'm not really doing too well, am I? <laughs> Anyone new to the channel is gonna be like, wow, this girl just copies James Turner all the time. Uh, no, we he copies us too. You know, he does. I just get called out for him more, okay? Do we like that? Do we like how that kind of curves around. The only thing is, if we do this, we're gonna want floor to ceiling windows because it just looks, ooh, we could not do floor to ceiling windows and have like either up there, down there, or in the middle. Ooh, mmm, mm, I wonder. There's something about having the windows in the middle that I really, really like. I think because it's something that I don't do very often and I'm just thinking, Yes, <laughs> I like. Okay, so we're gonna put that. Hmm, and I'm thinking also if we're gonna do that, then we're gonna need a little bit of greenery. Oh, I just remembered we have a budget too. Oh, budgets are so hard, you know. Oh, this can be the little area where the bin goes. Like you can wander into here and be like, okay, we're gonna take out the trash, which means we'll probably want the kitchen over here. That would probably make the most sense, wouldn't it? Because you'd want to be able to get to your bins from your kitchen quite easily. Ooh, do we want a bin in front of the window though? It's not the prettiest thing. We'll just sneak one in there. One's fine. Okay, so that's a little bin area. So you can wheel the bin out when the, the, bin, the bin people come. And some of you guys might know more about this because you might have a family member who's a bin collector or you might be a bin collector. But apparently bin collectors get paid really, really well that is the MFT. That is what I've heard. I kind of want to use windows that go across like that, but those, I don't want to use the base game windows because I always use them. There's like some really slender looking windows. Where is it? Oh, I really want to use this. I'm just going to pop that there just because I want to use it later. This is the one I'm thinking of. Like we don't really use it that often. Ooh, I don't know about that. It's just, I mean, it's okay. Why don't I like that? There's something about it that I dislike. It's just, maybe it's the little line. I wish there wasn't the little line there. I just want beautiful, long glass, no lines. Just let me see out into the environment. I never use this either. This is one that never gets used by me. I think because you can't like flip it. It'd be great if we had a flipping key in the game. Ooh, we could use these. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it like that because what can I say? I'm a little lost with knowing what to do that. Okay, so uh, let's work on this one a little bit more. Now, I do, the more I look at this, the more I wanna make this a little bit like higher. Oh, wow, not that high. Is that too high? What about here? Maybe, maybe this will work. Just bear with me, you guys, because I feel like because then this balcony can be utilized. Uh-oh, hello, now this doesn't join up. Hmm, so we might need to make all of this glass for it to look okay. Oh, balls, there we go. Sometimes the game just doesn't wanna work with you, does it? Done it, okay, there we go. Oh, wow, that is very glass, <laughs> much glass. What if we used these? No. <laughs> it's a no from me. And why doesn't this come in black? This would be fantastic if it came in a black swatch because 
I don't want to use the gray or the brown. Basically, everything should come in a black and white swatch. In my opinion, I think it should because it just, the usability is so much better. There is this one, but, oh, oh, but that's uneven. See, I wish we could make it even. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, when you apologize to your game. This is a little bit annoying. Like we need it to go across more. We could, and also the other issue I have that is that it's a blue color and we don't want blue in it. We just want clear. So maybe this is the one we go for. Oh, don't mind that. And yes, we can change the color of it if we want to. I don't mind it. I think it, I think it works, okay. And you know what? If we did want some separation between these two parts of the building, we could kind of have a little thing that sticks out here. You know, like a, a beam detail. Oh my gosh, I feel like we're gonna go so over budget, aren't we? Just like that. And then this can move across, which means we have more room for windows. I don't mind it. I, I do not mind it. Oh, but then we have this issue where this is just like sitting there open and we need to make this into another feature. Oh gosh, I don't know if I'm just doing too much to the build right now or if this is good. Is detail good at this stage of the game? I just don't know. I think it's a good thing. Well, if anything, we're being creative. We can always turn it down a notch. There we go. And this is probably annoying everyone. So let's get rid of that middle bit. And I'm guessing this is annoying everyone too because this doesn't go out further enough. Far enough, further enough. Far enough, further enough. Uh, you know what, let, let, yeah, let's bring this back. You, my friends, are getting out of control. Oh gosh, okay, let's just delete this. Oh no, actually I don't mind that detail how it's coming out a little bit, but I think for this build, for now, we don't really have the budget to mess around with that. So let's just keep it as is. I also have a big issue with the color of this door. Oh, I love that timber color. That is a beautiful timber color. That's very like, come to my house because we are classy. <laughs> we are classy. Okay, now moving back to this one. I feel like this would be really nice if we used the smaller half wall height. Oh my gosh, these half walls are gonna cost us so much. But they do look nice once you, you know, once you put them on there. Ooh, see? Not bad. And we could even give it a bit of a postmodern vibe if we make it overhang. Oh, yes. I like it. I like what we're doing here. Let's move that in. Oh, and now it joins up to this. Well, I'm going to move that out. See, it's all about aesthetic balance, you guys aesthetic balance and uh the title of this house it's a good house is is pretty much what we're aiming for here this is going to be a beautiful house all right uh i think what we need to do is put some kind of balcony here so let's do that let's get a little balcony action okay let's get this da, da, da. so you can have your beautiful bedrooms that lead out onto a balcony overlooking this beautiful park with autumnal trees and this running water. Oh, and the doggy park over there. Oh, I went for a run today and there were doggies and I patted one of them and I just wanted to take it home with me. I have so many issues with withdrawals when I find cute dogs and it's just, it's almost like I wish I didn't pat them in the first place because that makes it so difficult to never see them again. <sighs> I just really like dogs. I like all dogs too. Should I have done that? I don't think I should have. Let's let's pull that back a notch. Yeah. <gasps> you know what would be the best kind of meetup? Because I've seen a lot of you guys asking for meetups. If I was like, bring your pet meet up and then you guys could meet me i could meet you and your pets and get like my my pet fix but then i feel like there'd have to be some kind of epic insurance in case someone got bitten by someone's dog or something so that's probably not gonna happen okay this is looking pretty good we could bring this out 
I mean, I think, yeah, I think that would work. These columns, part of me doesn't really like them, but they are a cheaper option. We could go with these ones. Oh, don't mind those actually. <gasps> oh, I see what I did. I got the gray ones instead of the black ones. My issue is this little indent thing there. I don't really like that. I kind of like the streamlined look because if we use these, it might look just, just more chic. I don't know. It's difficult to tell. Let's maybe get more of this uh, balustrade up. Oh, the other thing is I didn't think about the price of this balustrade. We could, uh, you know, go go a little bit of a cheaper route and go with this one because this is still like decent, you know. It's, it's not bad. Like I know it's got a bit of a farmer slash industrial vibe, but I don't hate on it. It's probably way more affordable than the other one. What is this? 25 simoleons? How much is the other one? 64. See, we can get three of these for one of those. What do they look like together, actually? Can we get creative with this? No. <laughs> We're all sitting here thinking, no, Dally, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm actually tempted to completely remove this one, which we spent a lot of time on and just put this one there for the time being because it's gonna save us a little bit of money for now. And I think we're gonna go with the cheaper, cheaper pillars. I'm sorry to anyone who, who really loved these pillars, but it's time they go. They had a good life. This is 45. We can use those ones too. 45, 45, 45. 45, 45. I don't know why I'm seeing this. Okay, so that could. Hmm. I'm feeling the thicker ones. Do you like it? Th Although the color of the slimmer ones go more with the fencing. So the, the thicker ones look a little bit darker. Don't you like saying the word thick? It's just like a satisfying word to say. Like I'm not trying to be, you know, inappropriate, but. It's just a good word to say. Satisfying. The other word I really like, I've said this before, but is spindly. Spindly. Oh, it's so satisfying. Okay. And then if we're, if we're doing the slimmer ones, we better make it all coherent at the front of the house because no one likes it when it's not coherent. So let's go like that. Bam, bam, bam. Let's check how we're doing with our budget. And we are at 16,580. We could go up to 100K, all right? It just means my Sim family is going to have to save up a little bit more money. And um, I mean, it's fine, but it's just annoying because <laughs> it means they won't be able to live here for, for even longer. And I'm also a little bit worried that the door I picked is not going to go with the rest of this black theme we're going for, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Okay, so this is looking good. Um, I'm actually also thinking, do we want a little bit of pillar detail here? Is that nice? I mean, I I don't mind it. I think it's I think it's okay. Cool. And maybe we go for sliding doors because sliding doors are probably going to are they the, are they the more affordable doors? The sliding ones. Let me see. Uh, three hundred thirty-five. Where are my slidey doors? Slidey doors. Slidey doors. One forty. You know, it's a lot cheaper than, say, some of these doors. I mean, that's, like, really cheap. That looks like you're walking into a school, though, not a home so much. I think the slidey doors, how much are these? These aren't going to go with the house. What? They're only 50 simoleons? Why were the objects and seasons so cheap? They didn't really look that cheap, but they are cheap. Oh, I like these doors. Oof. That's a nice door. If I've ever seen a nice door, that is a nice door. Okay, so how much is... Oh, I like this door. Again, I feel like this should come in a darker bl black without like tinting the windows. I like this one too. We had the, the black issue with that one as well. It's not a black enough um, metal to go with a lot of the base game windows. You know, just, just picking out floors. Okay, so that door's um, too large for the second floor. So we want to go back down here, get this little bad boy. And we're going to use a couple of these. 
Uh, oh no, I just remembered the sliding doors are shorter than the windows. Oh man, that was, that was not a good, that was like one of the worst mistakes they made when they brought out the sliding doors. Everyone was like, yay, sliding doors. And I was like, oh, they don't match the windows, sad times. I just wish I could be a fly in the wall that just buzzed around people's heads and annoyed them unless they chose the right decision that I liked. That would be great. We're probably gonna have to use these. I know we use these doors a lot, but they are a safer option. And yeah, I'm, I don't wanna use this as a balcony, I don't think. I think we're gonna put some greenery in there or something like that. I said we have a couple of doors out here, so maybe we can get two rooms having access to the balconies, uh, which means I'm also going to get some nice windows. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Scoot, scoot. Scoot, scoot. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, that works. We'll just make it like a really glossy feature thing. Okay, we're almost at 20,000. A little bit worried about the budget. Not gonna lie. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Wow, I really like that. Okay, and then we can... Maybe just do like a simple, classy. Oh yeah, we got it. We got a straight line of windows on this side of the house. Very nice. Okay, because I know, I know from previous experience, I do go a little over the top when it comes to windows. I do like a sneaky window. I'm not gonna lie. But who can blame a girl? Like windows are nice things. Uh oh. Well, this is awkward. Cause, oh, what are we gonna do here? Hmm. It's like, do we want to have a gap in the middle? Oh gosh, this, this is, this is hot mess. That is, this is a, this is a problem. What about this? Ooh, I do like those. Hmm, I think we, I think we might've made this a bad size. I mean, we could go with these like feature windows. Oh no, they're too long. We could go, we could go with something like that. That's weird though. I ain't feeling it. And then the other thing is we could go with the extra wide window and smack it in the middle. But that would mean that we'd have to raise the roof and this is the city living windows. And my issue with these is they are like, they have a blue shade to them. Ah, <sighs> these, these are the problems I face every day of my life. I don't know. We're gonna just, I'm gonna leave that for now because I just don't, I don't know. It's too hard. It's just too hard. Okay, I'm just gonna pop three of these here. I think they're gonna look nice on this side of the house. And do we want these big square windows? Part of me is thinking that they, they kind of just look out of place. So I'm gonna get rid of those too. Uh, we might not even need windows there. I think we'll definitely need a set of windows here. I think we're definitely going to need probably a couple of doors around this side. I mean, do we want a door on this side? Eh, I think we can get away with it by not having one. I'm gonna pop a couple there. Okay, fine, we'll, we'll pop a couple there. Just a couple. Uh-oh, hello, we gotta move those up. Ooh, that's a nice room. I like it. All right, cool. Um, I think we've got the basic shell of the house. Yes, we have this big issue up here. Like, honestly, I think we're gonna just have to end up doing that. Is it perfect? No. Will we get over it? Hopefully, probably not, but we can only try. Do we wanna do something creative here? No, let's go like that. All right, so now, now, I think we need to expand the roofing on this because I think it's just gonna look a little bit nicer if we have it overhanging just a tad. There we go. And once we do all of the roofing detailing, like around it, like this kind of a thing. Oh, ah! no, no, no. Oh gosh, there we go. Uh, you know, it, it really brings it all together to become a more coherent aesthetic, a sense of unity. And we love that. We love that. Let's put it around the balcony too. Okay, so obviously we're going with a few dark accents on this build. 
I think, I think it works. I think if we're going to do it there, we're going to have to do it all around this. Um, but we're definitely going to mix up the wallpapers because if we don't, I feel like it's just going to, it's going to look strange. We want it. We want to mix it up a tad. All right. So, uh, I might just quickly color these as well. So I'm going to use the eyedropper tool that does not work. So let's not do that. <laughs> let's go over to here. I'm just going to color all of these. And yeah, we can change it. We can change it if uh, the, it doesn't suit the wallpaper, but that's just as a starting point. Now we have chosen this door, which does pose an interesting color scheme with the black. Uh, I don't know if I want to go with dark wood like that. I don't mind this, but then it doesn't, it doesn't really like go with the rest of it. So we have a few, a few issues at this point, I think. Hmm. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I think we should make this side of the build like wood and underneath, and maybe this can be stone. Let's maybe do the stone first because we don't have many stones to pick from. Like we could do this one. This one's always like a classic mid-century looking stone, or we could go this one, which is like more forest stone, or we can go full on bricks. Now I love bricks. I will pick bricks any day, but I know a lot of you guys won't like it. But I guess this is for my off-screen family, so maybe this is a time for me to be selfish and just do what I want. <gasps> I like the sound of that. So I'm sorry, you guys, but I know not all of you will like it, but sometimes you just gotta think for yourself for a moment and put your Sims self needs before others. That really sounded really bad. I also realize a lot of you guys don't actually like this specific brick pattern and I love it because it looks so industrial and worn and recycled. I love that. I love anything industrial. I love builds that combine old with new with an overall like modern theme. Oh my gosh, it really, it's my thing. Hopefully one day I'll be able to live in a home that's kind of like that. That That's probably the dream. So hopefully one day we'll get there. Okay, let's fuse uh, some, what is this? Are these like shingles? You know, I actually had shingles once as in the little medical shingle condition. It's not cute, let me tell you guys that now. Um, it was when I was really young and apparently it's quite unusual for young kids to get it. I think I must've been around eight years old. And it's really, it can be really, oh my gosh, is that the color of the original door we had? Oh, that's so close to the original color. Oh, what color is that? Do we even have a type of timber that suits that color? I don't know, but I want to find one. Uh, I guess we could keep searching for it. Why do I love this door so much? I'm like really hanging on to that door. Like this, this door is my ever. Oh, there we go. That, we, we hit it on the head with the bomby knocker. That's it. That is it. I'm sorry, but I have to keep that door. I love that door. <laughs> Why am I so obsessed with this door? We could even maybe, no, I changed my mind. I don't like that at all. What are we gonna do for these bits? I mean, the easiest option would be like, let's just go with like a black stone or wood on this side, something really basic and neutral, and then use this red and the bricks to tie it in and be, you know, save the build, bring it all together. If we wanna go all artsy fartsy again, unify the build. The black almost seems a little harsh though, cause we've already got the black windows. We probably don't really need to go full on we could go gray i mean i do like the idea of gray i even like to be honest you guys i quite like the idea of part of the build being white 
Okay, guys, so I skipped ahead a little bit because you know me, I take forever to pick colors of things. And this is the color scheme that I've ended up with. So I did actually ditch the darker wood just because personally, I felt like the lighter wood. I prefer the lighter wood, but I think it, you know, I think it's come together pretty well. I think we've started off fairly strong for the first part of our uh, let's build and in the next part we've we've got to really start the furnishing um so yeah we're gonna fill up all of these bits and bobs i think it's going to hopefully come under a hundred grand i think building on a budget is always a really good exercise because it really does challenge your building skills and just adds that little bit of extra difficulty you know to pull it off uh, but we're going to have to have, I think, four bedrooms or three bedrooms, one shed. And I think we're going to have a mix of floorboards with concrete. Um, so, yeah, definitely like a modern vibe. But at the same time, we're going to make it pretty stylish, you know. Not like I want it to be too cold, but I want it to be simplistic for sure. Um and then at the same time, super family friendly. So that's kind of the look we're going to go for. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. Are you enjoying the Let's Build? Um, yeah, just let me know. And I am looking forward to the next part. Oh my gosh, I want to finish this house right now. I love it so much. So I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys think. So right now the budget is, okay, we've almost used 30 grand. It's not too bad for the exterior alone. We're doing well, you guys. We're doing well. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to you soon. So, so. <laughs>